Hi there. I'm in the process of finishing my uh, workspace right here, my tiny corner. And uh, because I work a lot on different kind of electronics, I decided to use an ESD mat. It's grounded uh, right about there somewhere, kind of hard to show, right there in the corner. To, to a one meg ohm um, socket connector, so everything is as it should be. Uh, but I realized this is way softer than I thought, so it's extremely easy to damage this, scratch this, so when moving even things around they will leave marks. And I don't, don't want uh, this thing looking really really bad really quickly. So decided to buy this thing cutting mat for, from Ecobra. Ecobra, Ecobra. I, I think it's Ecobra. <laughs> so uh, there's that info about it. It's the variant uh, with hard PVC core and, and it's 2.5 millimeter thick, five layers. So I will mostly use it as a desk protection, honestly. Not necessarily to cut on it, although I will cut on it if uh, I need to. And it's quite similar in color to the rest of this, so should be fairly good. Back of it completely black, no printing whatsoever. The lines that you see are not intentional. I think the printing just shows up uh, from the light through this other side. So let's get it out of the box and check the layers. And this is it in its place. It's not extremely non-sleeping, but neither is it sleeping extremely easily. So if you put downwards pressure, it's not sleeping anymore. If you try to just push it without putting any pressure, yes, you will be able to move it at least on this kind of shiny uh, uh, ESD mat that I have here. Yeah, it came directly like this. I'm not that happy about it, but the uh, nothing that I can do either. I'm not going to send it back just for that because it is a work mat, a protection mat for me. So at the end of the day, this will get uh, dirty and looking kind of uh, bad. So uh, yeah, and now I realize I think my phone really has a problem with the color balance with this particular matte kind of, when I put my hand in, makes everything a bit bluish, then goes to greenish. So that is going to be really fun while filming. Never thought of this. You can see it's color changing a lot, trying to compensate for who, know, who knows what. Hopefully when I have some things around here, it will be a bit more stable. If not, this will be bad. No, I think it's more stable if I have something in the picture and not only a sea of green. So yeah, we should be okay. Anyway, for this particular video, I'm going to quickly show you the layers. So it's kind of uh, all plastic and it's really, 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 really tough. So actually, how tough is it? Because my fingernail can scratch it. We'll see. We'll see, this will become quite uh, scratched probably quite quickly, but at least it will not cut through it like it would through this because this is much, much a softer material. This is no way near it. This is kind of a plastic. Anyway, so there, uh, there's that and not even to mention this is conductive. This in theory, at least it shouldn't be. I'm not going to put high voltage on it, but at least the low voltage stuff, it, I think it will not conduct. Anyway. I will get back to you in time um, to see how this uh, performs and uh, give you my updates. Been using this for a good while, has some nicks and scratches and the one from when I bought it, but overall it's holding up really well even to soldering. I drop from time to time uh, melted solder on it by mistake or when I uh, intentionally drop it from the tip if I have too much. 
apart from uh, being a bit shiny and in time probably it will become as it was before matte nothing happens to it probably also here i think here a bigger drop of solder went in there no issues whatsoever it's good but on the other side if you plan on recording on it huawei phones for example my p30 pro does not like to color balance this so i need to force a color balance on it a samsung a72 i think not sure doesn't seem to have this issue with it it's basically what i needed it to be uh, but I kind of need to set the color balance uh, on my uh, phone to basically a sunny day for it to represent the colors correctly. Otherwise, it always tries to hunt uh, down the color balance and changes and things are never uh, as they should be in color. So a bit too much green, but overall uh, it works. So it has a few dings and scratches and whatnot, but... Uh, Nothing dramatical. Uh, if something uh, gets uh, onto it and it gets dirty, I didn't even clean it just so I could uh, show you this. You can just rub it off. Yes, I did cut directly on it. Just tiny scratches. A cutter will not cut directly through this. It will just basically leave a, a scratch on it. So, yeah, and even if I'm soldering something, it's not going through it just leaves a, a mark on the surface as you can see here these are just uh, blobs of solder that, that uh, fell down onto this and they left a, a bit of residue but i think if i insist on cleaning they might go away completely but yes don't put the tip directly on it that might go through but just a blob of solder doesn't do almost anything to it so yep for me the perfect working area and uh, that's about it hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye